Summer sucks and how cool is it to build and fly our own airplanes? We're getting ready to build some new airplanes and we've been reflecting on some of our past builds. For example, here's an experimental wing that we built. And in this wing, you're experimenting with lift and lateral throw. Look at the side view of this wing. It has this thing up here. These are just some kind of fun things you can do with building. For example, this is an airframe for one of our neuron planes. In designing, this neuron is our design. And it's just amazing how this airplane plane can fly. We flew this out of our lake and my cousin could fly it. It's an example of learning more about this equation to design airplane. It's an example of building with Lord Rye's equation. When you have, when you're looking at it in the front, there's hardly any area, but in the second you can go like this, whoop, and you have lots of area. So we're using the, the theory of food force to design our airplane. And that makes us think about weight. Building heavier, building light. One of the biggest temptations of building airplanes is to make it too heavy. You might want it to be decorated, or you just want a lot of things on it, and that makes it heavier. So this is building heavier, building light. And we have two examples that we've been thinking about. One of these is our smoke jumper airplanes. This is an example of building heavy. In this airplane, we put a balsam interior into it. And that added quite a bit of weight to the airplane. We did that so we could build very strong landing gear. Again, that weight cost us. In Lord Raleigh's equation, one half rho C A V squared, one half is a constant, rho is the density of air, C is the coefficient of drag, A is the area, if the plane has this much alpha, for example, the area can be composed into a vector. One component is drag, the other component is lift. That lift component is directly proportional to the force. The force is related to the velocity squared. And everything being equal, a heavier airplane needs more velocity. A heavier airplane it had to fly faster to keep all its weight. Not only do you have a heavier plane, but you're moving faster. A plane like this is a little out of our comfort zone. Cause it's a little too heavy, a little too fast for where we fly. For example, look at this touch and go. The plane's coming in really fast and you can see all the energy it has. And this is an example of building heavy in something you can do when you're designing the planes. For us, this is just a little too heavy to feel comfortable with. This is a similar size to our smoke jumper, our night carry here, but is way lighter. So this is the design and velocity of light build. And this plane just has really different characteristics in flying. It just wants to take off right now. Because it's lighter, you can fly it slower. You can fly this plane slower in a park environment. Here's an example of that. It's so lightweight, it can hover and just go straight up in the air. In building, there's only a few pieces of wood in this plane. We have the brace for the motors and a little balsam up front to strengthen the nose. This is the example of a light build. So this is, um, they have different characteristics, light build and heavy build, but they both can be very good for some people. So it's all really on how are you approaching your build? What do you want to do with it? It's a design philosophy. Light builds are slow, Heavy builds are fast. And you can choose as a designer of your own airplane. They both work very good. Get out there and design your airplane. Go find that for more stuff. What is Lord Rawlings' equation? F equals one half row C, A, B squared.
Wow, what a show. One, one whistle means to stop.